And we're live. Welcome to the 28th Sprint Review Call. Uh, excited, a lot going on this week. As, uh, so let's just dive right into it. The, the biggest thing happening, of course, is the Param Debates. This is uh, collaborative economics at its finest. We have uh, lots of interesting uh, proposals on how to design these this first pilot commons that the common stack is working with, with the TEC, and they're really fun debates. They're, it's a great way to learn about collaborative economics and, and what it really takes to design a bottom-up economy, uh, and for specifically around public goods. And, and also, it's a great way to, like, get depth into understanding bonding curves, conviction voting, and token engineering as a whole. Like how does an economic design actually affect a community culturally and it's and uh, on all the dimensions. So you definitely don't want to miss it. Uh, I'll just say that the Europe Times, but today there's three of them. One of them already happened. Uh, there's another one in a couple hours and uh, one in the evening. Uh, special uh, guests like Michael Zargum will be coming to the one in the evening. Uh, and in on Sunday, uh, we have one with Trent and one with Simon. Uh, Trent from Ocean and Simon from uh, who invented bonding curves. So those will be really great if you can get there on Sunday. And then on Monday, we have uh, the, the last debate, I believe, is with, uh, I can't remember, someone is definitely coming to that debate too. Uh, but then we'll have this really cool two hour debate that's more like an American debate where uh, I'll be host and we will ask the tough questions uh, to all the people who are representing the different parameter sets. So it'll be really fun. And if you can come to that final two hour debate, you will enjoy it. It'll be, and you'll learn a lot. So don't miss that. The other big news this week is uh, gardens. We have uh, we have uh, we have actually completed the first commons upgrade test to the very last step. We have one more step, just turning on the bonding curve. But we actually uh, have everything working up up until that point. So we have one more step. We're going to do the last test vote uh, probably this weekend, and then we'll have the first successful public commons upgrade. Of course, it's with test die and not real die, but still very exciting. And then uh, the other big news is that the G Giveth is actually going to launch a token, uh, probably this, around this Christmas, and the Trusted Seed is all going to get an airdrop. So uh, it'll be a little Christmas present from the Giveth community to the Trusted Seed. So that's very exciting. Uh, and with that, I'll pass it to Tam. Who is definitely ready. So uh, this is Sprint 28, and uh, let me share my screen. Uh, so Sprint 28, you know, it's the end of the year. It's sort of about people about to disappear for the holidays, reflecting on the year that's passed, thinking about the year to come. Um, and this Sprint, we did both. Um, um, so we're calling this Sprint Fallow. And it's actually a practice that dates back to ancient times. This has been something that's happening, been happening for thousands of years. Uh, and fallow is a farming technique where you stop sowing, you, know, you stop um, growing crops in the field and allow the land to recover organic matter, to retain moisture, and uh, it also disrupts life cycle of pathogens. So it's essential in biodiversity. And because we didn't have a traditional sprint, uh, we are dedicating uh, the name fallow to this sprint. Um, but we were super busy, <laughs> even though we didn't have a traditional sprint. And uh, we um, started looking at our uh, our OKRs for Q1 of 22. Um, we're uh, breaking up into different um, work streams, marketing and communications, commons services and research, uh, trusted seed, of course, products and development and common stack DAO. And started um, honing in on um, what our um, key objectives would be for Q1 and are starting to put together the key results, which will turn into initiatives, which will then fill our sprint board, which we'll start planning on Monday. So good things to come with uh, our OKRs and alignment uh, for 2022. Um, we also have something that we've been anticipating for a very long time, and I'd love us to celebrate. It's uh, the first of a new series of articles on um, the augmented bonding curve. And one of the common stack contributor, Taxel, um, 
spend some time, a lot of time learning from Griff, a lot of information about augmented bonding curve. He spent a lot of time researching um, and having conversations and reading lots of materials and took it all and output it in a way that is really digestible for anyone. So it's a really um, uh, reachable article and uh, definitely encourage a lot of people to, uh, to start to understand augmented bonding curve through this series of articles. The first article is uh, tries to, to explain the why of augmented bonding curve. Okay, and as usual, I bring news from the Token Engineering Commons. Um, we have some big news uh, that happened over the course of our sprint. We have two new amazing stewards. Um, Lauren, who, uh, if you've seen her present the Commons Configuration Dashboard, you would have wondered, like we did, why isn't she already a steward? <laughs> she knows everything. Uh, she's been around for a very long time, but really focused on the params and has recently started to focus on other working groups and uh, a major, major positive add to, um, to the stewards working group. As well as this potato, Vi Vi V, who is sort of like our cherished uh, one of our cherished, most cherished people in the TEC. He's a Discord bot wizard um, and is super humble and approachable and helps guide people, but also uh, is able to realize a lot of the, um, the, the flows that we want to have on our uh, Discord. Uh, he's responsible for a lot of that. Um, what else do we have? Uh, I'd also like to highlight some more articles, and these are from the TEC. Um, there is this article from Gideon, who's a really huge uh, champion of the TEC and contributor, and he really provides an astute um, look at what, why onboarding is hard in permissionless DAOs <laughs> and what it means to be uh, working in a permissionless environment. Um, he, he traverses, or he, he brings from um, experience from traditional organizations and uh, does a you know sort of compare and contrast with how that's different from these new permissionless organizations or the DAOs that we work in now. Um, Nate also published a really great article. Uh, he did a uh, analysis, comparison, summary of the top uh, proposals at the time. So this is a little outdated right now, but he really goes into some of the parameters and then their meaning from sort of the, the culture that we, that has been built at the TEC um, and how some of the, the specific parameters will affect the culture or considerations that we should take into account as we are voting um, this weekend for the shortlist. Um, I also want to share some highlights from uh, the forum. So there's lots of new things on the forum. Uh, the working groups have started posting funding um, proposals. Uh, so we'll probably be among some of the first proposals uh, once we um, complete the Commons upgrade. We have projects that are also um, submitting proposals for uh, funding for their projects. Uh, I know that we'll have a big one landing soon. Um, Angela, the TE Academy, uh, has a proposal ready and is just crossing the T's and dotting the I's on it before uh, uh, submitting it. And um, we have some of the um, some of the um, Commons parameters proposals uh, that are being championed by people. So people in our in the TEC community. Uh, are writing their support for certain proposals and posting it in the forum so that it can be shared with other people and everyone to read. Um, and also one of my favorite things about this every, um, every week is Mount Manu has a working group weekly update. So for anyone that isn't able to join the community call, it's all right here. <laughs> you can uh, go back, read this and see the things um, that uh, each of the working groups presented in the community call to get really quickly up to date. And with that, I would love to pass to Livia. Thanks, Tam. So I'm going to share some exciting news for the Trusted Seed. Big times ahead. We're getting to maybe the biggest engagement opportunity since the TC started that is actually deciding what is going to be the economic design of the commons. And we had a metric to move forward with the timeline that we're using. And this metric was reached yesterday. So that's super 
Um, it's great because we have five proposals with five people backing them. So this gives us a range of, um, of possibilities for you to vote on, for you to understand what is the, the conviction voting design, what is the bonding curve design, um, and also still time to play with proposing, even though that's likely that this proposal is not going to go on top, but the dashboard is there to be used. And um, this is going to give a really great uh, ground for the debates. So uh, you can check out all of the proposals here in the forum. And this is not an advice for which proposals should be voted on. This is just a metric for us to have some quality uh, proposals moving forward and a diversity of proposals. But all of the proposals that are on Talking Log uh, that you can see right here are up for voting. So if you have TCH tokens, you can uh, vote on these proposals. Token Log works with quadratic voting and there's all these options here. So we're um, just helping out a little bit by curating some to the top. And um, so with that, we're moving forward with uh, debates and rock the vote. So this is the time for you to put all your votes on token log and of course come to the debate so you have an informed opinion about it. And uh, our advice is that after you come to the last debate, that's the moment that you're gonna put all your votes down because you can't retract vote, votes on token law. You can't change your opinion. So when you're going for it, just uh, go with conviction. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll do that from today until the 21st. On the 21st, we'll have a set of proposals that will go to the runoff on the snapshot. So you have this weekend uh, to get prepared, come to the debates and vote. And last week, we had a really exciting day of um, DAO Rewards Assembly, uh, DAO Reward Systems talks. We had eight hours of uh, super interesting talks. You can see all of them here. There was uh, so many people that have been contributing to the ecosystem uh, when it comes to reward systems. And there was uh, really a big panorama of talks and they are all really great. So. Uh, get your popcorn and you have like a whole day of program there and from the tc front of the reward systems nuggin put up this um, amazing dashboard for uh, how we're going to be analyzing praise and how praise will get together with source cred what are all of the graphs that we'll have playing in the background what are some of the metrics we're using and uh, he put so much work in here and he gave a demo in the community call yesterday. So um, you can check out this link and see the full presentation, all the graphs that are being used, some of the directions that we're uh, moving with the, uh, with the new TC phrase and reward system. And we'll have this running next year when we have the first trial quant. So this is also an open call if you want to be a quantifier, if you want to understand a little bit more how this works, um, how is the, the, the backside of praise, how, how everything is made. It's super interesting. And that's it for me. And I'll pass to Maria. Thank you, Livia. Um, well, for the Trusted Seed, in the past two weeks, we had uh, a great start for the uh, Office Hours edition for our member spotlight. Uh, I was very, very thrilled to, to see the members of the community showing their, their current projects outside the common stack. Uh, we had the amazing participation of Method. Let me share my screen. Um, but yeah, we have Metodo or Unai, <laughs> which is his name. Uh, he talk us, uh, talked about uh, the Innovation Academy, Jambe. Uh, it's an amazing work uh, in Tanzania. Uh, they are basically developer, uh, developing social innovators that uh, later go to Uganda and spread uh, the, the social innovations uh, 
education and and store uh, more projects and and people there, communities in in Uganda. So it, it is incredible. They are they are actually part of our uh, commission voting uh, vote uh, for the Gitcoin grants. Uh, so they are doing an amazing job uh, there. You can find them all also in Gidev. So go ahead and donate to this amazing project because they are doing great stuff. Uh, we also had uh, Metodo again. It was that that was on December seventh, uh, and on December fourteenth we had uh, Metodo again Unai with Dreams for Good. Uh, this is a prototype that they are building um, with a, a partnership on with Sensorica, and they are basically creating a, a device that is not only a, a grinder for for. Uh, food or yeah, food, uh, but it's also going to be an extruder that uh, extracts the uh, a very important uh, content of protein from plant, plant plants. Uh, this, will, this will be uh, very useful for um, um, vulnerable uh, rural areas in Africa mainly, but it can be re uh, replicated, uh, used in the rest of the world to obtain protein, high protein uh, solutions. Uh, but yeah, this is this was Metodo on December 7th, and we had Innovator or Peter, Peter uh, showing us a little bit about uh, Printernet Africa, which is a, a great uh, project uh, working on taking giving access to many things to, to rural areas of, of Africa. It's, it is still uh, an idea in developing, in developing, but he showed us how, how this is, it is structured. And uh, they will, right now they are looking for solar panels uh, partners who can bring uh, electricity solutions for for these rural areas and in and these projects and also internet access uh, providers or people who can help to 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 bring these uh, things to 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 the project and to Africa and yeah and we have a new date added it is uh, December twenty first since we had uh, a, a couple of more uh, members who want to show their, their projects and share with us what they are doing. So we added December 21st. It will be the last one for this year, uh, but I'm excited that these, these uh, I, once an idea and now reality, uh, everyone is happy to, to join us. And, and I really, really enjoy to, to learn more about our community and learning about all these amazing projects in blockchain and Web3. Uh, and I, I look forward to see all the, the results that they will achieve. And with that, I'll pass it to Gina. Hey, hey thank you, Maria. Well, um, during this sprint, we made some extra changes on in our Discord server, I will share my screen now so we can see it. So yeah, we changed our welcome message, uh, the welcome message reaction because we have a weird ad here <laughs> before. <laughs> and we added the Common Stack logo now, so it is more appeal to the brand uh, assets. And uh, we add also in the claimer role channel new uh, roles to be claimed. So now you can update your roles. And with these uh, uh, small changes, we expect to have a better interactions with you. And uh, also uh, a last a small change we add uh, was this section on the, on the top of the sidebar, the right side sidebar. So you can uh, reach us, Maria and I, if you have uh, any questions or you need assistance in your trusted journey. So we are here available for you to interact with us and to connect. And this is on those uh, changes. And um, speaking about the contributor model, we are still uh, working on that. And this is still under review, but uh, it will see uh, it will be it will be soon shared uh, with the, the community, 
and always as always uh, your feedback is always welcome because with um, your feedback uh, that allows us to be better in what we do <laughs> in our news in the last sprint we uh, had 20 applications so far and uh, three new members on the, during the, this uh, last sprint and we are now 330 for uh, members in the trust seat, yeah. <laughs> this number and the names of the new members will be uh, soon updated in your lab. And uh, for the new ones, thank you for uh, joining and for being part of the, uh, this amazing community. And uh, for the upcoming ones, well, what, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Check out your mailboxes and apply to be a member right now <laughs> this is your opportunity and with this i pass it to you Akane. thank you ian um thanks again everyone so this sprint has been very exciting for us i'm going to talk a bit of how we'll be distributing um contents and comms generally one of the, one of the things that we're most proud of this sprint is the augmented article why and it came out it's a piece for tech and non-tech people it, it, like you're thinking of understanding the augmented bonding curve how to apply that and all of that you need to get this piece it's already pinned on our twitter page so go to common stack you will see our pinned tweets you will see also um I understand the link is on the uh pinned tweet so click on it takes you to our medium page and you can read through the piece. It's quite interesting. It, it begins with telling of a story and guides you through, and even gets to um, to the point where you begin to ask questions about things you all knew. So there are things you can take out from it and apply in the physical space. So it's very, very explanatory. You should certainly check that out. Also, quick one: uh, Gitcoin has wrapped up beautifully and we're very excited about it we appreciate everyone who joined us in this journey of gitcoin round 12 and um, contributed to common stack ecosystem and our projects we're also excited about everyone who um, came around and engaged with the tweets and the conversations we have and part of that com strategy was the twitter spaces we had exciting moment it was so we appreciate everyone that joined we're hoping to have more of that twitter spaces um, in the future and we're hoping to have you join during that conversations and the exciting thing we would like to share during the sprint is how our analytics has been looking and uh, on our linkedin page for the past 14 days our search appearances increased by 26 percent and 96% of you dropped in and 24 new followers. Thank you so much for engaging and not just coming to our LinkedIn page, but also engaging with our posts. Our posts currently uh, stand at uh, 2,400K impressions. Thank you for all of that. And for our tweets for the past um, 14 days, we've been able to push out 66 tweets, majorly because of the Gitcoin grants and a lot of the works we've been doing in Common Stack and um updates from our ecosystem so thank you so much our twitch impressions currently stand at fifty nine thousand and six hundred. thank you and there we have twelve thousand of you twelve thousand three hundred to precise of you show up on our profile to look at us and understand the work we do with 163 mentions and welcome to our 190 followers Thank you for always engaging with Common Stack and thanks for uh, speaking with us and chatting when you come around. With that, I'll pass to Thiago. Thank you again, thank you all. Um, the sprint uh, I have um, for the Regen partnership. Um, we had a great agreement to receive it from Regen Foundation and uh, we have sent the wall's address to the to them to receive the token transfer, and we are sorting that out this week, this next week. And also, uh, we proposed as a uh, suggestion from Maria to build a middle board to start defining the OKRs and the definition of the partnership uh, and the key roles. Uh, 
for the key objectives for the next months. Um, so from my side, that's all. Now pass it back to them or Riff. Yeah, actually, I'll, I'll take it because, you know, every week we get to show off all this great work that we did. But obviously, it's not just us, the faces on this call. There's so many people behind the scenes making the real magic. So uh, I'm just going to rattle off some praise. Praise Mitch, Lauren, Chewy, Zepp, and Nuggin for their great work hosting param parties. Uh, praise Nate for putting out the idea of spicing up the debates and his awesome write-up for the different parameters. Praise Pedro, Vitor, Fabio, Mitch, Nuggin, and Lauren for uh, help to build the dashboard and make it a real thing. Uh, praise Sam and Paulo for their incredible work on EVM CRISPR, the migration tools, and putting it all together to get this Commons Upgrade demo going uh, for the community. Praise Bradley for all his work coordinating around the Commons Swarm. Praise Christopher and Ivy for helping us work out our OKRs. Uh, uh, praise Taxel for delivering the Y article and also praise Ivy and Uncle Bim Bim for working on the graphics and putting it all together on Medium. Uh, praise Lauren and Vi for accepting the nomination for becoming a steward and also praise Christopher for choosing not to be a steward and honoring his focus. That's super cool too. Uh, praise Gideon for his awesome article on how to enter the Dow scene uh, as written from the TEC perspective. Also uh, praise Chewy, Wonka, Zepp, Edu, Angela, and Shebnam for putting together the first proposals for uh, the TEC. That's going to be super exciting. Uh, first proposals ever for a commons. Uh, and Mount Manu, major praise for the great roundup on the forum every week, of course. Uh, praise Wonka, Mitch, Zepp, and Gideon for putting up their, uh, their, their um, param proposals on the forum. Praise Pedro for configuring Snapshot to work with quadratic ring choice voting. Praise Angela, Peter, Patty, and the Taoist uh, for the Governance Conference organization. And praise Christopher, Felipe, and, and the countless other speakers, there's too many to name, uh, that, that spoke about reward system in, in that Governance Conference. Praise Matoto and Innovator for presenting their awesome projects to the Trusted Seed. Praise Rodri for making an, uh, uh, the refreshed graphics for all of our calls. They look super beautiful. Praise ViviV for advising on dis Discord improvements. Praise Marco, Rodri, uh, and Rodri for the uh, new Trusted Seed branding. Praise Niran, Awaki, and the rest of the Panvala and Gitcoin communities for putting together an awesome grants round. Praise Peter for coordinating communication for us. Uh, round Gitcoin uh, grant round 12. Praise Sam and Kai for deploying the newest, latest, the latest version of conviction voting so we could uh, distribute funds in our community fund. Praise Jess, Disruption Joe, and Neuron for jumping into our Twitter spaces. Uh, praise the Regen Foundation for uh, choosing us to accept the awesome, uh, the, 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 uh, their awesome gift uh, and, uh, and merging the trusted seed into their DAO. Uh, praise uh, Highs for the great leadership and land stewardship in the region community and praise, uh, and I think that's it, right? No, praise Rudolph, Vive IV, Nebs, Nuggin, MS, YGG, Octopus, Mitch, Mateo, Grial, Marco, uh, and Marco for all the great works going into the reward system. That's the last one. And thank you all for joining us for our 28th sprint review. Uh, can't, uh, it, it was uh, another doozy and in, enjoy the holiday season and enjoy your giveth airdrop. Uh, we'll talk to you in two weeks. Bye everyone.